here to celebrate Charlie's uh, 60th birthday together with you. I cannot remember exactly when uh, the first time I met him, but a uh, long time ago. And I'm glad to know he is still very strong, mm -hmm. even though he smokes a lot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, today I will talk about uh, uh, the strong, strong superior matrix which is used in the uh, testing. It's a uh, good work together with uh, Jim Kim Fan, Yu Jiku, and Michael Higgins. Now, uh, uh, I guess all, uh, uh, most of you know the definition of group testing. Uh, what I'm uh, testing is we want to identify several sparse uh, defective items from a large population of something. And uh, it means that here we have a uh, uh, I want set of the particle subset for positive, I mean, uh, mean uh, defective, and also a lot of vision of S, and we want to test with uh, the Q, uh, uh, the subset Q, S. And the test outcome is yeah, that if the intersection of Q and P uh, is not, uh, not empty, then the test uh, outcome is yes, means positive, and if the Q and the intersection with P uh, intersect, the, the outcome, uh, outcome is no, that means negative. And we can use the matrix to represent the uh, group testing, meaning that, for, uh, for example, we have four uh, items here, and we put, this, uh, uh, we put some uh, six groups, and we test the, uh, for the first group, we test S1 and S3, for the, uh, for the group uh, two, the pool two with that uh, S1, S2, and uh, S3, we can represent the group testing scheme by a matrix. And uh, if we use that, the vectors, here is that uh, all the population at x1, x2, xn, the unknown vectors, and the status of x sub with here the zero means negative and one means positive. And we can do the test by the using this and uh, apply to any vector here that means the group, the pool, and uh, y in the end, uh, we use the function that and we use uh, yi and uh, xi with all the, uh, the uh, all operations. <laughs> and we want to know this uh, arm of x, the sparse, uh, the sparse x, so that uh, so the group test in an efficient way. And it means that how to construct this matrix, the group testing matrix zero the A, so that we can recover the uh, from, recover X from R. Of course, in the user is uh, impossible. But uh, here we know that the X is the yeah, spot. And uh, we can see uh, examples here. There is yes, the uh, test outcome, the test outcome here, you know, uh, for example, so there one, 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 zero. Can we recover the x a from uh, r and also this a efficient? Here with the uh, same same flow here, uh, this x is sparse, this is sparse uh, vectors. So the uh, mean, which means that at the most, yeah, at the most d non zero uh, coordinate here, and d is a uh, very a bit uh, smaller than A. Now the, uh, we we know that there are two classical matrix. One is the, the disjunct matrix, and the second one is the separable matrix. And uh, the definition is that the union of any at most up to D columns cannot cover any other uh, column. And the separate matrix means that the union of at most D columns are all distinct. And then the complexity to find the uh, the you know, effective R from the yeah, yeah, uh, all lot of the old in M and here is the M, M to the power D. Of course you know that this one is not, yeah, not so efficient. And this one efficient enough. And of course it's uh, the mean that uh, the column or the number of the 
the number of items can be log here. And there are some results about the, uh, we want, want to find, given the, uh, given the number of the items, we want the, uh, the number of tests as small as possible, or on the other side, uh, conversely, given the number of tests, we want to test the item as many as possible. And here, this uh, uh, result is that uh, for any, we use M, D, D means the standard matrix, here is a simple matrix with a maximum number of columns. Uh, this two, uh, two matrix, different uh, instruction matrix, and a few separate matrix with n rows. We give a rows, meaning that we the number of tests is given, and then we can know that the columns uh, of the simple matrix is uh, lower bounded by this number and the upper bound. Of course, here that's a the uh, the number of rows less than the number of the row or uh, the column of separate matrix, and uh, this is upper bound by this. And especially when d equal to two here, the know that we have this. It means that the rate of this uh, of this uh, scheme is around zero point uh, one point eight and some something here. And for the case of the separate matrix is a little bit larger than here, and it is a little And so our research motivation is that this is a for different matrix, uh, uh, efficient bank, the separate matrix. And the side of, the side means the number of columns here, the separate matrix has more number of side than the number of, uh, of columns in different matrix, is there some new structure that have the similar definition, but the almost the same uh, number of I, uh, uh, the color? Is there, is there something around here? Or we try to find this new uh, structure. This, uh, this true structure, a uh, classical structure uh, uh, in group test, we want to find a new structure. And in fact, we have a, you know, we find, the, I don't know whether this structure or uh, the, uh, the strongly separate matrix is, 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 is exactly this one. We don't know. But we uh, try to uh, define uh, this new <coughs> separate, strongly separate, uh, separate matrix. It means that for any subset of columns C0, with psi as well as the D, we ask that the intersection uh, here will be the first uh, introduce the view of C0, which means that the, all the subset of columns so that the all are same uh, with C0. We hope that the intersection of this C prime to be exactly equal to zero. So, but, uh, for the case of uh, uh, here, I say that for any C prime in C U C zero, C U C zero is a subset. Has to be a subset of C prime. And for the disjoint matrix, for the uh, disjoint matrix here, U C zero is exactly equal to C U C zero. And, and so uh, the A G disjoint matrix is a so is a strongly separate matrix. And for the here, the, the, the strongest separable matrix means that for any C prime less than D, the, this uh, and the uh, the all of C prime, uh, the all the uh, uh, vector in C prime is, is the same, and this is equal to C zero. Means that any strong separable matrix is a separable matrix. So. Strongly separable matrix is something uh, weaker than just a matrix and stronger than separable matrix. Now it's a, oh, I say that we uh, we want to find that the uh, efficient of the identification uh, the algorithm as efficiently as 
with, uh, uh, with that of uh, the structure matrix. So now I want to introduce uh, to describe the algorithm to identify uh, the defect method items. So uh, for example, we have uh, here this example. So we, uh, for example, we have a test uh, outcome. It's a uh, positive, 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 and this is a negative. Then immediately we know that this one, this item should be negative. And now we check that uh, this uh, subject one <coughs> here, I mean here is a uh, negative. Oh, uh, we know that uh, maybe this one, this one, this one, this, uh, this one, the first uh, three one, yeah, maybe positive. And we know that from the definition of strongly separable matrix, subject one should be, the item one should be negative. If this matrix is a three bar strongly separable matrix, otherwise, so here, we, if we take a C0, the other one, uh, C, uh, S1, S2, S3, and also, the S2 and S3, they can produce a similar, uh, similar result. But from the definition of a strong separable matrix, we ask them the intersection of all of the C prime equal to C there. So then, from the definition, the S1, S2, S3, this subset should be a, the, the true subset of S2 and S3. Of course, it's, this is a ridiculous. Really so, from the definition of the strong separable matrix, we know that the first one, the, uh, the first item should be negative. That means that we can see that for the true uh, positive item, uh, after deleting this row, uh, this column, we can see that there, there is a one row there, so that here there is only one here, and all others are no, zero. And for, but for this one, we, we cannot find such kind of rule. Okay. So now we can know that we can, we can get delete, yeah, we can consider, uh, 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 we can check this outcome, and then we delete this, and all, all of them, the uh, time complexity uh, here, here, so, uh, big O to N time M. That's the same way. This is uh, almost the same way the, uh, that of uh, the sample matrix. Okay, now I try to find some lower bound on um, side of two bar strongly separable matrix. And we use some, uh, another kind of uh, structure used in, uh, uh, used in digital fingerprinting. It's called a strongly separable code. And here is a strongly separable code means that the similar idea. But here it doesn't mean that the descendant of C prime and the, uh, and the descendant of students there is the same. What does it mean that? Uh, for the case of for the case of strongly separable matrix, we only ask the O. The O are same, is the same. But uh, in the case of strong separable uh, code, we also need uh, n. Okay. We have uh, we uh, not only this, but we also require this. Okay. It's a similar. Uh, it's a something similar to the uh, the notion of uh, strong separable uh, strong separable matrix. And we can know that any D bar strongly separable matrix of psi n by n is a D bar strongly separable matrix of here's the of binary the uh, the Q equal to two zero one. And then we can do some combination uh, uh, from strongly separable code to here we use the here the, the Q recall. When for any i in the zero, from zero to q minus one, we use this. The all of the, the zero and the, the i minus one for the uh, coordinate is uh, equal to one. Then we can know that uh, this is a, from the strongly separable code. We can get a strongly separable matrix here. We expand the side of the of the length of the column. 
the third hue, the M by Q. Uh, we have Q. And then we can do some, we can from here, uh, we can try to construct some strong separable code, then we get a result that the lower bar for this is greater than to the two to the power of zero to 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 something like that. Yeah. And how to prove it? So in order to, oh, we would like to use the probabilistic method with expropriation uh, expropriation uh, uh, method. In order to define the bad event, we need this minimal frame of uh, uh, some uh, the subset of colors here that mean that for if the C prime the C prime is a, a, a frame of C zero if they have the same descending and here that you see the minimum frame of C that means that delete any code word from the C prime then they cannot have the same yeah, descending and we you we uh, uh, we can uh, uh, know that from the uh, minimum uh, frame, then the psi should be less than or equal to n times d minus n minus plus one. And uh, if c is not a d bar separable matrix, uh, a strongly separable uh, code, then there should exist uh, c, uh, c zero. So that uh, and also there exists a minimum frame c prime of c zero, so that C zero is not included in C prime, and then we prove uh, we use the uh, as I say that we use random coding with exponential. We random to a Q array n by n matrix C, <coughs> and all of the uh, entries are chosen independently with uniform distribution, and then here we define a column. I mean, the, uh, it's a column of, of this random matrix uh, is bad if there there is the C prime with the T the, the T plus one column uh, vector here, but at least one of the following two cases occur here. There, there is the C i belong to C prime, so that this C and C i the descendant is exactly the descent of C prime, and here the T. The, uh, the range of t from 1 to n. And, or, there is a ci, or well, about to c prime, so that the, the c prime minus uh, ci is the exact <coughs> thing. They have the uh, same descent with c and ci uh, c prime. Here, we use this a at n, n plus 1. We are, uh, if we can, uh, if we don't, we will send it to the, end, uh, the side of t. From n and n minus one, we cannot get uh, interesting result. And uh, here, so we use the minimal frame to define the here the side we can control the side to the from n or also n plus one. And then, this is all black columns from C. We can get a uh, two bar S S C, and here the uh, the length of the. The length of uh, the column is n, and the length of the row is the n prime. And here, the, of course, is a Q array, the matrix. And then we use probabilistic method, and also we use opti some optimization method to, con uh, to evaluate the, uh, the number of uh, n prime. And then we can know that for the case that here we choose that uh, uh, it's uh, Oh, here the, the Q array, and we find that when Q is to four, we can get a maximum number of uh, maximum number of uh, row or uh, columns, and we have this. And then uh, by little uh, calculation, we can get the result here: two uh, to the power zero point two to the one to the five, and. Uh, for case that uh, we remember that case for the discharge matrix here is a 0 0.18 and a little large, larger than this one. But for the case for the separate matrix, so what we have doing this, the efficiency is also the same way, uh, uh, 
the uh, there's some matrix, but here, uh, my little, <laughs> we don't know whether uh, it's true or not. I mean, we hope this the distance between here is zero, but we don't know. So we expect here the same. But we don't. Know. Thank you. Thank you.